إن كيد الشيطان كان ضعيفا. The plot of the devil is very weak. Shaitan's plot is very weak. And if we are to seek the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it won't even affect us. It won't even bother us. So it's important whilst we spoke about the devil, that we also speak about how to be protected from the devil. It literally creates a metal armor around you when you read this early morning and every evening for the rest of the day and the rest of the night. And shaitan will not be able to harm you and attack you. There is something known as the evil eye that is also from the devil. There is something known as jealousy that is also from the devil. There is something known as envy that is also from the devil. We will be protected from all this. We will also be protected from the magic that people want to engage in and the black magic and what have you. All this we will be protected from, including being protected from the jinn kind at large. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a deep understanding. For your information, jinn kind is very, very frightened of man. Very, very frightened of man. But when we show a weak link, then he gets excited. He gets excited. You know, it reminds me of a story. Maybe on a lighter note, we could mention this. They say there was a man who was very soft natured, very, very soft natured. And when he was getting married, the people were worried that your wife is going to control you completely. Your wife is going to control you completely. He says, so what should I do? They gave him an idea. They said, first night, get a stick and we'll release a cat into the room. And as soon as you know, you walk into the room, when the cat appears, you must just put your headgear on one side and start beating the cat until you kill it. And then throw it out of the window like a man and that's the only thing you're going to need to do. He says, well, that's fine. On the other hand, his wife was hearing that, you know, you've got such a soft natured husband, you're so lucky. So what happened first night, they released the cat and the plan worked. He beat up the cat and she was scared looking at him. This is not what I knew him as. And then the cat died and he threw it out of the window. And he says, no, I'm sorry about that. He cleansed everything and it was all back to normal. Every day he would say, I'd like you to do this or else. Or else what? Subhanallah. Or else. As soon as he says, or else, she's worried that or else I'll get that whack, you know, just like the cat. Until some time later, she went back to her family. She went back to her friends. But you people told me this man was soft. They said, no, try defying him once. See what happens. You see, we're talking here of the jinn and how weak the jinn is. So what happened is, he says, I want you to have the tea ready at seven o'clock or else. She says, or else what? Or else I'll have it ready. <laughs> Allah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us protection and understanding. Really. So how we feel that shaitan and the devil is strong. Wallahi, he is weak. Defy him and see what happens. Defy the devil. I'm not saying the husbands are devils. But what we are saying, subhanallah, is that we need to learn a lesson. When we have a perception that something is stronger than us, we tend to be overcome by it. Why? Wallahi, it is weak. It is something that is frightened of us. Let us understand when we defy this devil and with the Quran and with the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it will run away. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wala ilaha illallah, subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wala ilaha illallah.